Hey, Jelly Green here. Welcome to the first episode of Slap University, and this will be class 101 backside 50 50 slappies. So, I am not the professor of this class, I'm a fellow student. So, we're going to be learning it together, and then maybe you can apply anything I learn to what you're learning. So, the backside slappy is supposed to be a little bit harder than the front side slappy. I haven't ever done a front side slappy, so I wouldn't know. But I have done backside slappies about six months ago, but I tried a few yesterday and I've lost the skill a little bit. So let's get it back, even though I fairly know, I know I know basically what direction to head in. So I will guide you as I'm trying to figure it out myself. But at any rate, this will be an ongoing series where I'm learning how to do different types of slappies on my beautiful metal curb. This metal curb is really fun for grinding. But After I get all geared up here, let's make sure I'm putting that on right. I've been skating a lot this week, working on my no comply video with a bunch of no complies. And so my knees a little, I just want to protect it a little bit and save it because I've been putting a lot of stress on it. It's all right, it's more preventative maintenance but at any rate so first off what you'll need for slappies are loose trucks so i have several boards that i use i use have tight truck boards loose truck boards medium boards this is my loosest truck boards but my suggestion to you if you skate tight trucks or whatever whatever you skate when you're about to do slappies go loosen up each of your kingpin nuts two total turns one and a half to two turns and that should get you in the slappy range it's you're going to want it looser than you skate unless you already skate super loose these are already super loose right so i shouldn't have any problem with these but next thing i'm going to do before we start this uh this metal curb hasn't been skated all season, so I'm going to wax it. Now, people would go crazy, old timers would go crazy with me doing this because all you ever hear on the message boards, on the Facebook groups, and the older skaters category is don't wax metal curbs you coop skate faster which might be true but I have a super rough road right here and I have to skate with soft wheels out here or else I can barely even roll over the ground it's really bad so soft wheels against an abrasive metal curb, it's not gonna slide. So, I'm not going to listen to all that advice. And besides, why would you wanna, I'm gonna be grinding, I mean, this uh, curb a lot. Why would you wanna put the extra wear and tear on your trucks? I'd rather slide on wax than grind my trucks down more. Anyway. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> All right. Getting my front wheel on, not getting my back wheel on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> getting a little bit of a willy grind. So, 
secret is to go fast and try to hit it up as a raw wall ride. Well now what I should be doing is pulling my back truck up here and doing it. But right now I'm not getting that back truck on. Yeah, so I'm bashing my front truck up against and it's like a little wall ride up it. Then you get up. But you have to lift up on the front and pull the back in and then slap that back wheel, this side of the wheel against the curb, and that's why it's called a slappy. Woo! Huh. A feeble to board slide if, if I had it up more. I should work on that in the future. Whoa! Nothing. Almost. I was fighting to try to get it up there. Whoa. Huh. Slappy willy grind. All right. Coming at it fast. Really grind. Whoa. That's the scariest. Turning before you get anything up there and then just slapping the board against it. And there it was. What I was doing wrong, so I wasn't putting my foot far enough up here. When you put your foot far enough up here, you have enough for your weight forward, so you can just pull that back truck right on there. That was so much fun. Let me try it again. Ha! Ah. Well, not perfect, but I salvaged it at the end. Yeah, that was it. See, it's counterintuitive. You think you don't want your front foot on your front foot way up here on this part of the board because you're trying to get that truck up there. But when you bash it up and wall right up, you want it there so you can pull that back truck right on there. Whoa. That was fun too. That slap was a little late, but it still counts.
That was a bash. When you do it straight on, more straight on, you really have to bash it up there. But it's sort of easier to get into position with it. So, depends on how you want to do it. Whether you want to hit it straight on, you have to bash it a little harder, or carve it a little more. And you have to shift your weight a little more, uh, with a little more finesse. to 50 50. Anyway, there it is. Sort of the secret is to it is to be light on your feet, but put all your weight on the front and hit it hard. Once you're up there, just pull that back truck onto the ledge and then put your weight on the back and then uh, come out. However, you're used to coming out of 50 50. But there it is. Thanks for watching my first episode of Slappy University. That was the Backside Slappy 5050 Course 101. We'll do it again soon. Until then, make sure you work on this. Make sure you take some wax out to whatever curb you're gonna do it onto. It likes lots of wax. Don't listen to the old timers. But you do have to go fast. Anyway, thanks. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time, YouTube.